want to show off my free comic book day haul and also talk about the new movie Iron Man 3 to do a quick review nothing too serious about it and also show off what's coming up soon so stay tuned for that it's probably gonna come later tonight cuz or later today if my computer stops being a punk cuz I want to edit it and all that jazz so I'm making this video way before because it'll take a lot faster for this to upload than to me film this then edit it and then put it up while it's uploading it's gonna take a while it takes a lot of upload videos so all that jazz it's gonna take forever so might as well just put this up now and just show off my haul and just basically say that there's a lot of hate going towards uh Iron Man 3 you know with the whole I don't want to spoil it so with the whole twist and you know what a twist yeah, I just want to say that it was a good movie. It wasn't great, but it was good because of Robert Downey Jr. And it being an Iron Man movie and Tony Stark. Anything that Robert Downey, Downey Jr. is in is amazing. So, you know, I liked I liked it. I liked that the whole simple fact that he was, you know, using all the suits at the end. Instead of just, like, you know, looking at them or having them do all the work. He was jumping in them and, you know, cool stuff like that. Uh, the Mark 40, 42 was like the joke of all the suits because it was always messing up. So that kind of sucked about it. Um, even though I don't like that suit uh, that much, so that's cool. I never really liked that suit. So, um, what was it? What else did I want to say? Uh, oh, quick question. Sorry, because it threw me off. That's why I was like, so uh, I might make a visor um, how to video for. Cyclops. So let me know if you guys want to know how to make this or make a how to mask of Cyclops because it's actually pretty easy. Um, and oh, I like that Road. Roadie was like, he was like James Bond. <laughs> he was over here for like doing crazy flips and stuff. And even uh, Pepper Potts was awesome. Tony was awesome even without the suit. Like, you know, him without being Iron Man, he's still like you know, gadget guy. For some reason, I don't know why, it kind of reminded me of um, Home Alone when the kid has all these, like, little, you know, little tricks and gadgets and stuff, and that's <laughs> what I felt. I was like, Macaulay Culkin, what are you doing? But, yeah. So, it was cool. It was cool to see Tony evolve without his suit. And even at the end, you know, he even said that he didn't need the suit, but, you know, he destroyed all the suits or whatever, but he's still Iron Man. So that was cool to see that. Um, just the whole Mandarin thing and the Trevor, was that was his name, Trav, Trav, Trevor or Travis or Travis or whatever the guy's name was, you know, <clears throat> that was kind of like, I wish instead of using him, I mean the same actor, because uh, Guy Pearce is amazing, but, um. Instead of using him, they should have used him at as a Norman Osborn guy. I know they can because uh, Sony has the rights to it, but they should have had Norman, him Norman Osborn because that would have been kind of cool. But, you know, and it would have made sense because Iron Patriot's in it and all that stuff, but whatever. Um, you know, they're going to do what they're going to do. It's going to make us sad. Makes me want to cry. But, you know, it was a good movie overall, and I recommend it. Uh, stay till the end of the credits, because that was pretty awesome. And I have this guy coming soon. Um, I got him off eBay, and I got this guy off of Amazon. And my sister found Superman by her house in the suburbs, because I live in the city. So, I like this. If you look at the back, if you actually have the toy... The face on this figure is awesome. Like, it looks just like Henry. It looks awesome. This one doesn't. Like this one. I mean, it does, but it doesn't, you know, compared to this sculpt. This sculpt is amazing. This is like a McFarlane toy sculpt or something. Just the face looks crazy. But, yeah. These are all awesome. Highly recommend getting this figure. I'm going to open it up, do the review. And thanks for watching, guys. You guys are awesome. Stay tuned. Tuesday, I'm going to have an, an, another build. So don't worry, guys. The, the Nightwing armor is coming. I just want to do videos to build up to that because 
I'm going to make the, the weapons that Nightwing has first and then have the Nightwing armor because, you know, that, that at least to me that makes more sense. So I'm going to make his weapons a how-to video of uh, how to do his weapons first because it's a, it's the simplest thing to do. It's so simple, so easy. Even a caveman could do it. Oh, what? Oh, I called Superman a caveman. But, um, I remember those commercials? I got two Supermans because my friend wanted one, so I got one for him. And, yeah, subscribe up there, comment down there. Remember, um, the Nightwing armor is coming on Tuesday, or we're going to build up to it on Tuesday. So I'm just going to do the, the weapons, and then after that, the armor. So, that's coming. And then also, Thursday, I'm going to announce the winners of my, my uh, three-pack Thursday giveaway. And, oh, I hit myself. <laughs> that happened. And then also, I will be giving more stuff away on the next episode. So I'll be announcing the winner, opening up the cards, and giving some away. So, whole, whole crazy things happen on, t on Thursday. So watch that. And thanks for watching, guys. You guys are awesome. That's why I want to give back to you. Um... And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe up there. Comment, rate, share down here. And up, up, and away!